So in this video, we're going to do a little bit of brainstorming together. And I'm going to show you how I'm using Notebook LM. And I want you to remember that this is experimental. Like this is step by step on how I've actually used it. But understand that Google has provided us access to an experimental or beta version of, ne of Notebook LM. So we can do this type of thinking, brainstorming, and creating. Now, recently, I have been promoting some products over at Warrior Plus, and I actually use this to make some affiliate commissions. But I want to talk a little bit about the idea, the concept of creating an affiliate, affiliate content funnel or how you could use this. So let's say that you are or you have an email list, which you should be creating. So you have an email, and then you want to promote a product. So on day one sort of thinking top, middle, bottle, bottom of funnel, sort of understanding that people don't yet know anything about the product, then you need to make them aware of the product and get them interested in the product, and then understand that they need to make a buying decision, so you want to offer a bonus. But the concept here is you send an email on day one to the top of the funnel, then the next day you're going to send an email out to the middle of the funnel, and then the third day you're going to send an email out to the bottom of the funnel. You could also do this with lead generation, so you use a lead magnet, to let people know about a product or a solution or a solution and your product, the product that you're promoting as an affiliate solves that problem. So I just want to lay this out there because again, this is, this is an idea that I'm working on. I've actually used it at the bottom of the funnel and I was promoting this product right here. And this is a case study. So what I did is I opened up a notebook and I created this audio and all these notes, but I used the audio here. And if you listen to the audio, you'll understand it is talking about why this case study is important, how it's important. One of the things was when I was listening to the audio, I learned a little bit about, you know, the product and what the person that created the sales page was talking about. And then I said, okay, how can I create a bonus? And that led me to creating a bonus page. And in this bonus page, I have the ability to add this video, which is that audio conversation. So go back to Notebook LM. Notebook LM, they give you the audio so you can download the audio. And by now, I'm sure you've heard the audio and how just sort of really amazing and realistic it is. And a lot of people talk about creating podcasts and fake videos and all that. I'm not down for that. So I downloaded the WAV file and then I created a bonus page and I created a video out, a video out of that WAV file and I put on some dynamic captioning. So then when the video is playing, people can listen to the conversation and then they can also see the dynamic captioning so they can read along as well. And it just creates this element of having a video, the visual, as well as hearing it. And then they can also listen to it and not be, you know, worried about what's on the screen. Like if I was using some type of B-roll or some fake, you know, AI, AI avatars or whatever, right? Or even, I guess you could create like a whiteboard as well. But I really just wanted to keep this super simple and then focus in on the bonus that I was offering for that product, but then focused on using the information that I created and downloading that WAV file from the audio overview or what, you know, Notebook LM, Google with this experimental Notebook LM is calling a audio overview or a deep dive. And then people sort of jumped on the idea of it being a podcast, right, by pushing a button. So the next thing was, I was like, well, I have this tool called Lead Creator and I want to promote that. And all I really have here is the sales page and I want to focus on all the features and the benefits of the sales page. So if you scroll through and this sales page also has some, some testimonials on it. So I just copied everything on the sales page and I made it the source. So if you click here on the source guide, you could just see that I just copied and paste, pasted the sales page and it became the main source or actually the only source here for this to create, and again, you go over to Notebook Guide to create this audio overview. Once you create it, you can also, as a side note, once you go back to the notebook, you can click load and it will load up the conversation. Then you can also do this, and this is important. You know, you can load up that conversation, you can listen to it. If it's not the right angle or if it doesn't make sense, then you can delete it. Now, I think, or I've tried, and I'm not sure yet, because again, this is all experimental, but I've added a few notes here not sources, but notes. And I've added a few notes and I had a conversation with the, with the chat. It didn't really pick up on the notes that I added, but you could also add it as a source. So I'm still trying to figure out, you know, if you add a note, does the audio overview pick up on the notes that you add? Or are these just text notes for you? 
And I'll do some more deep dive into that. And of course, again, like I said, this is experimental with Google or it's inside of Google Labs. So there's lots of people out there testing this as well. So if you know, let me know in the comments if you've experienced that. And I'll show you what I mean because I did a chat here and I'll show you the chat because you can have a chat with the source or you can have a chat with the AI and the AI assistance is referencing the sources that you enter. So I put in a chat, how do you pronounce lead creator and lead magnet? And it said, here are the pronunciations. The source is provided focus on the features and benefits of the lead creator software and don't specify the pronunciation of its name or lead magnet. And I'll tell you why I did this. Because the first time I created this audio, it said lead magnet, right? Lead magnet, lead as in the metal, lead, lead creator as in the metal lead. But I wanted it to say lead as in EE. -E. So check this out, right? We'll close the chat. I added a note and the note says it is pronounced lead creator is pronounced L-E-E-D with a long E, lead how to pronounce lead magnet lead in this case is pronounced lead with a long E. But the reason that I, well, I said that I'm not sure if the audio conversation, because when I chatted with the AI about how to pronounce it or how to say it, it didn't pick up that note that I entered because it didn't see it in the list of sources over here. But, but the audio that I created the second time after I added that note, they actually pronounced it correctly. This is a cool note, I think. And if you're if you're if you're following along this this far, I think if you try that and test that, if you ran into that problem as well, because it said lead creator, and I was like, well, that's not going to work. How can I adjust this? So just a quick note, and the thing that I happened or a thing that happened to me. And remember, I'm promoting this product, and I want to let people know. So to instead of just driving people to the sales page, I'm adding people to a list using a lead magnet. It's a little meta using lead creator to create a lead magnet. To, to promote or to go back to the idea of sending email or, you know, driving traffic, say, from YouTube. And this is going to be a play, a play button. So driving traffic from YouTube to the top of the funnel, to the middle of the funnel, and to the bottom of the funnel, I go and I create this guide. I create this study guide, the FAQs, right? I have a chat. I create this audio overview, and then I create a lead magnet. And then the lead magnet here is to grab a lead, put them on an email list, follow up with them again, take them through the affiliate content funnel, top, middle, bottom of funnel, aware, most aware, right? Become aware of the product. And they do that by entering their name. But check this out. I created that video again with that dynamic, with the dynamic captions. So it is a video that plays and people can read along with it. And there's nothing distracting. So they can still, once they opt in, they can scroll through this lead magnet. Now, I know the question that you're asking is, how did I create that video? How did I create the video here? How did I create the video from that? And how do I do the transcripts and create the dynamic captions? I'm going to show you. I used a tool called Veed. And I simply just selected create new product. And here you just create new project, not product. You just select create new project. And then it simply says, let's make a video. Now, there is a free version. I talked about this, but you only get like two hours or two minutes of of subtitles where it will automatically transcribe. And there's some other features where it can pick up on dual voices like you like you see in the podcast audio that you get. And I wanted that feature as well. So I did upgrade to the pro version. But all I need to do is upload a file and I want to demonstrate that while we're here together, brainstorming and walking through this concept, this experimental concept that I actually used, right? That I proved works by generating revenue, by creating a bonus page, utilizing this notebook LM, this audio and these notes to make sure that I understand the type of bonus. After I listened to the audio, went through the notes, I'm like, this bonus is perfect. It fills the gap, right? It helped me get there. It helped me learn and understand how to do that by going through this conversation with this notebook by using all of these study guide, FAQ, the briefing doc, and then listening to this audio, actually deleting the audio, listening to again, deleting it, listening to again, listen to the changes and the different thoughts and ideas that I had. I wish it would let you keep them so you could have a history of them. And how great would it be to tell it that you want to go back, hey, create this audio or podcast for day one, the top of funnel. What I think you can do and what I'm going to show you here in a second when I show you how to create the video is you can guide it because I had a conversation or I was brainstorming a product as an affiliate and it didn't do any of this. It was really focused in on 
what the sales page was doing, the mechanisms and the marketing, and that's not what I wanted, but I want to build out this top, middle, and bottom of funnel and use that audio overview, create this video using V.io, links in the description to everything I'm talking about. And then I went to Amazon Prime Big Deal Days, and I thought if I was promoting a product and I wanted to pro promote an Amazon product using this, I would go and I would just select everything on the sales page. So I literally just gave it this URL because what you could do inside of the guide or the notebook LM, you can use the notebook guide and you can get the notes and I created this audio. But here I went in and you can look at the source. I just gave it the URL of the website and you can see that it is a product listing for a small fish tank. So what it did is it created an audio and the audio here is talking about the angle of the marketing of the fish tank. It's talking about all the things that are used on the sales page and the marketing that Amazon is using. All the little like compare coupon codes and all the little colors and like all the things it's using like based on recent reviews, deals, right? Like information from the brand and like what the brand was doing with its marketing and the way that the brand wrote the summary and the information it was giving, given and like similar products. That's what it was talking about inside of this notebook that I created. And I was like, that's not what I want. And I was like, instead of giving it the URL or giving it the source or just giving it and feeding it the entire sales page to get an audio overview or to create a video or a podcast, that audio overview where I can use it on the sales page or where I can use it in my affiliate funnel, right? I want certain a certain type of information where it introduced people into this concept of why the product is helpful, why the product will solve their problem. Then I want to let them know about the importance of the product, the features, the benefits of the product. Then maybe in the bottom of the funnel, then I want to do comparisons and then talk about like different sizes and or features that are going to help them make the ultimate buying decision. So I went back to Notebook LM and I created another notebook, a brand new fresh notebook, and I pasted text in. Because one of the things that you can do is you can add these different sources and let's go back here. I'll close this. You go up here and you hit the plus button. You can add a Google Doc. You can add Google Slides. You can link to the website. So the first time I tried this, I linked directly to the Amazon product, the Amazon.com URL. The next time I copied in or I pasted in exactly what I wanted it to know about the product based upon the type of audio and the notes, the FAQ and the briefing doc. But more importantly, in this case, the video that I wanted, I went ahead and just pasted in what it is. It's a fish tank. Then I pasted in the product details and about the item. Then what I did is I posted or I pasted in the customer reviews and it really highlighted some of the information and it focused on the benefits and the features of the product, which is what I'm interested in when I'm trying to promote the product, not the conversation that I got here which is about how Amazon is doing marketing for the product, but about the actual features of the product. So here's the audio overview. And what you need to do is you simply just need to download this. You're going to download that. It's going to download it as a .wav file. You can see here, Amazon Fish Tank Aquarium Review. And then you're just going to go back to Veed and you're just going to click Upload Files. Here, you're going to have that WAV file. You're just going to select Open. You can see now it's starting to upload the file and of course it's got to upload. So it'll upload the file and then once the file uploads, you're going to come down here to subtitles. And here are a few settings where you have like English, add translation, detect speakers. If your video has multiple people speaking, you can add different styles to each speaker subtitles to help your viewers differ, dif differentiate. Differentiate, tell the difference between the two speakers. It changes the color, like one will be yellow, one will be green. And you can see that when you watch the video. But all you do at that point is you toggle that and then you go ahead and you select auto subtitle in English and it's going to transcribe the video for you. Again, this is part of the pro version for Veed. Link in the description, you can check it out. It's a pretty cool little tool. I just started with it, so it's experimental for me. Just like Notebook LM is experimental for everyone because Google right now has given us access to this beta. It's inside of Google Labs. We have a chance to use it right now and use it for free. They have been known or Google is known for throwing things like this out. 
than shutting them down or, ple- or completely just changing them. So we might get more access to do these audios or to get these audios and add input or to do like save them to create that whole content funnel where we could say, okay, I want to create a note and then create different audios for different sources or different notes or give it different information and be able to interface with that audio or even like participate in the conversation at some point, maybe, you know, just think outside the box of what might happen and think outside the box, but focus, focus on what you're trying to do here and don't get caught up in the hype and just the wow of it all, but really come back and think and do like I've done in this video with you and just brainstorm. How can I utilize this technology that Google has given us for free? How can I access that to help it, to help it help me to get it to help me create content as a content marketer or as a marketer going out and creating content to help people find a solution to their problem by creating this content, thinking top, middle, bottom of a funnel, thinking, you know, people that are most aware, unaware, how I can create content that helps them become aware of the solution for that problem. Link in the description, right? They click that link. Then I earn an affiliate commission based upon the brainstorming and the focus that I have, that you have as a marketer creating content to help people and then focus on helping them so you can give them what they want and you can get what you want. All right. Big fat commissions. Am I right? Thumbs up if I'm right. I appreciate you watching this one and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.